another pig skin I wanted to show you this is a fairly standard uh, pig skin and it's in a uh, nice chocolate colored uh, brown that I use um, so I'll go over the this pig skin and it's on a velcro belt and I'll show you what the velcro belt is like so when you get down I do all the hardware and so in nickel in nickel uh, color so you'll see silver on the brown and all black on the black um, you can see a nice two inch nickel plated snap ring. Uh, this is the um, uh, pistol grip pig skin, by far the most popular one. Uh, you can see lots of Velcro uh, on the nose of every pig skin. You get my maker's marks, the cross pigs and the Maltese with the oink and the pig nose on it. Uh, you can slide down, you can see the uh, two inch thick um, by, sorry quarter inch by two inch wide um, leather here um, I'm starting I'm beginning to put uh, these two inch D rings this is standard as of you know uh, fall of 2016 it could change but as of now I'm dropping a two inch D ring on every belt as a standard uh, coming down you can see start to see the stitching where the velcro is beginning here um, I do start with a 60 inch uh, hand cut strap and I mold that into a belt um, I seal the edges to keep down the wear and you can see the uniqueness about this uh, velcro truck belt you can you can see where it starts throwing back on itself um, I'm a big fan of the velcro truck belt for some reason it just feels lighter it feels more streamlined and you know you're only gaining about six or eight ounces because you're losing some hardware but um, you just I don't know how to, to tell you, it just feels nicer. Uh, come down, I, I toss a, uh, a single gear loop on every belt. Uh, this kind of wrangles the ring down, even though you don't need it on the Velcro, um, as much as you do the buckle belt. And I throw a little loop in there. You can put a carabiner in there, hang your gloves off, whatever you want to do. You can see, like I said, there's the nickel hardware on the brown. And then we'll flip the belt over here. And you can see I've got... Um, you know, nearly 18 inches of uh, hook on this side and loop on this side. And what's nice is you can add your own stuff to your belt very easily. You just slide this down, open it up, and you can slide on, on the end, whatever you want, whatever that may be, a carabiner, who knows. Um, the ring will come off, as you can see. Um, just keep an eye on that. And comes right back down, sticks right back down. And I, I, I could see how there may be some concern of like, well, it's Velcro, how's that gonna hold? Well, again, this is 18 inches, this is 36 inches of hook on this side and um, 48 inches of loop on the other. The pressure from the pig actually pulls this into your body. So it, it is nearly impossible to open up. So that's why I designed it, I thought it was a, a good idea and the people that do have them I have one uh, Mr. Pig Chris Morin prefers them um, anyway that's the velcro belt and we're coming down to a swivel housing um, <clears throat> what I like uh, what I wanted on my truck belts uh, what I didn't like on other truck belts it couldn't slide the the, uh, the the sheath up and down the belt where you want it you know some guys want their uh, what's it called? Their uh, the clip off center from their SCBA, so it's not a bunch of hardware in the beginning. So this this helps do that because you can move it up and down the belt. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, on the swivel housing here that slides up and down, you can see the two Chicago screws. Um, that is how you lock the swivel housing into the belt. Um, once you get your sweet spot, unscrew these, just drill a hole carefully through the hole that I, I've already made. Use the Chicago screw to lock the belt into the swivel. I suggest you use a little bit of um, just simple super glue to lock the threads in place so, so they don't back out because they do back out. 
Uh, you can see the roll press uh, nickel rivets here and here. Um, this is a standard swivel. This comes with every pig skin, unless you want the friction swivel. You know, it's just a standard 360 degree Lazy Susan. And uh, we come to the end here, and there's the nickel plated rivets and the uh, snap ring on the end. Um, um, to me, it's because uh, I've been making these, I understand this. People ask, well, how, how do you size this thing? Well, how do you make it bigger? Well, first of all, I get the size pretty darn close, but all you do is move this this down. Like this is to make it a long, this is to make it a longer belt. And you slide this up, it locks it in place, and you've got your Velcro holding right there. But I do size it so in general, it comes to almost perfect fit. And there shouldn't be much play in the uh, Velcro at all. And there it is reset. Anyway, this is a fairly standard pigskin with the Lazy Susan swivel and the um, Velcro truck belt. Have a good night or day. Peace.